Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. So this is Frog Detective 1. I have never played these games, I've always heard really good things about them, and I actually saw Frog, Frog Detective with a little cameo in uh, Trickery, which was cool. And Frog Detective 3 is coming out this year, so I thought, you know what? As a little side thing, why don't I get through Frog Detective 1 and 2 in preparation for 3, because I would like to play them. I've always heard fantastic things about these games, so let's go ahead and hop in. Maybe some people have heard of these, maybe some people have played these, I don't know, but I've always heard fantastic things, so I'm interested. Alright, and it's just a measly $5 on Steam, so do I need that? No. There's me with my friends. Ring ring. Banana phone. Detective, whoa, what's happening with your hand? Is that supposed to happen? I don't think it is. Hello, who is it? Uh, yeah, my hand- oh wait, no, that's- that's- that's my cursor. I'm an idiot. I thought my hand freaked out and glitched. <laughs> that's my cursor. Uh, hello, Mr. Supervisor, I think is what that said. Sorry, I accidentally clicked. Hi, Supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat Datang Kambali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? This is the voice I always give detective characters. Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. Ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Corp wasn't avail Lobster Cop wasn't available. <laughs> so I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities are far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. Well, even you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, Supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, I've, I've given, um... I've given, uh... All of, like, the detective characters that I've ever played in any of the detective games, like... Uh... Inspector Waffles... Um... What's it, uh... The, the game where I played as the raccoon detective... I think his name is Howard? Howard... Daughter? Daughter? Backbone. That one, too. I, I gave him the same voice. Ah, uh, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right-click to see things up close. Got your magnifying glass. Yes, let's expect something. Expect? Inspect. This phone is very suspicious. Okay, let's go. We gotta get to the island. Time to solve a mystery. Alright, let's do it. I love your little walk. Look at that power walk. That stance. Grace Bruxner presents. But yeah, I saw that the third one of these games was coming out, so I was like, you know what? Let's play the first two to get caught up, and then we can play the third game when it comes out, because they seem adorable. A Frog Detective Adventure. Programming by Thomas Bowker. Soundtrack by Dan Golding. Boker? Bowker? I don't know. You're not really gripping the magnifying glass. It's more glued to your hands. Ooh, spooky haunted island. I'm definitely liking the sense of humor and aesthetic so far, so I'm feeling like I may fall in love with these games, to be honest. Kinda wish I had played it before I played Chicory now. Starring the detective, Martin. Larry, the lobster. Mo, the mouse mouse. Bernie, the bear. Fresh X? Okay. And the rest, a duck, a chicken, a sheep, and a monkey. Case number one, 
the haunted island. Okay, you're impressing me so far, Frog Detective. Keep doing what you're doing. Once again with the power stance, look at that. Look at that walk, look at that swagger. Hello. Hmm, maybe. Man in a suit. Okay. Okay, what are, what are you doing, koala person? Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. Guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. What? What the hell? I told you, it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh? Why? What a weird dream. Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. I mean, even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Anything you need to know? Uh, not right now. Okay, so we have a quest of, of sorts from you. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. Keeping my eye on you, sea koala. Watch yourself. Alright, what do you got to say? Stop waving at me with your dead, beady eyes staring off into nothingness. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Well, that's very kind of you, especially considering this is my first game. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm MysteryMonkey49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Oh, yeah, you're the really annoying one. Of course, I remember. Hi, MysteryMonkey49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Could I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The Resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? Talking to me already? Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out, thanks. Would you like to know? Can't believe we're gonna go meet Larry the Lobster. See you around. Oop, I didn't mean to skip that dialogue, that was my bad. But I'm pretty sure it was just, I'm gonna go investigate. Mm-hmm. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Sco Scobby Doo. <laughs> okay, that joke alone, ha alone has me sold on this. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. Okay. <laughs> the humor has already gotten me. Some whole noises? Need some tomatoes for soup? Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> There's the magnet I need. <clears throat> this might come in handy. You got a magnet. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What are these, coconuts? What is this? Science line, do not go in. Hi, right, what is this? I, I saw a hole mentioned. Hey. How's it hanging? Yeah, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rules against it. Not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious, but I'm keeping my eye on you. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. 
Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Uh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. Used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. Haha, <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross, that's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. <clears throat> okay, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kinda gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard some of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. Happy to take your wool away from me if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Ugh, yes please, but you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom. Or like, fire. Cool, okay. Probably won't use fire. Okay. <laughs> this is killing me for some reason. I don't know why. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a, a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you not looked? Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. Maybe there's a ghost further down. Hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I... don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? Ask away. That's it. I'm good. No questions right now, thanks. Alright. So, you have a hole that doesn't make a lot of noise. Hello, starfish. You're very suspicious. Uh-huh. Alright, so... I don't, I'm not going to investigate the hole yet. We can take the magnet to this other character over here. What is the deal with you, huh? Are you a character I need to investigate and talk to? Hey. Uh-huh. No, I don't think you are. Okay, so, uh, here. Here's your magnet. You do realize it has to be a metal boat, right? Not a wooden one? <clears throat> Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. Bought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true, thank you so much. No problem. Return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Now I can power up my electric type moves. Got a shell. Alright, cool. So I just did a trade quest for an item. There's a duck over there. Okay. Yeah, you guys have a slightly louder hole. Why do you have Panay? Yum. But it's not mine. Okay. Guess that could be like Rigatoni or something. Looks like Panay to me, though. Hey, you're the detective, right? The one that keeps monkey- uh, that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why'd you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? Job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like, a cover, you know? <laughs> God. <laughs> One that only smart people could figure out, like me. Still be a cover, maybe they're testing you. Okay, I'm giving you a dope voice. Oh no, you're right. Better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. <clears throat> what do you know about the noises coming from this hole? 
I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, so I'm just letting you know, but... It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Well, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yeah, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want? <laughs> secret agent. You mentioned that you want to be a secret agent. Why? Ugh. Secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you get a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Wink. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? Nothing right now. Come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Okay, so you want the mag my magnifying glass, but I'm not giving that up right now. Hi, Larry. I was told to talk to you. Hey, it's me, Larry. Well, I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't- I, Larry, did not make those spooky noises. That's like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard, I just- I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing- Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I- are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, ask them. The questions, I mean. The noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to me, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. That's safe. We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. Anarchist cookbook? I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. I usually hear fertilizer more than anything. That was the standard explosive recipe. Yes, you want to go get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, the questions I mean. Nothing. I'm good, thanks. Okay, so I, I probably have to give my magnifying glass to you, then you'll give me your pasta. Hi. Alright, so... What are you doing? Anything of interest? Hi. Weird thing. Can I pick you up? I can't pick you up. Okay. How you doing? You're the- you're the one with the weird name? Something X? Howdy. Hello. <laughs> Are you the, uh... Yup. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? Uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. <laughs> nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Why are we laying sexily? Take it away, D-Tech. Your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. Been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. Your smile. Hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. Dr. Tight, Smi Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Paste Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Got a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. Down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... do you have teeth? Um... well, I could give you my tube. I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Take it away. You need something else to keep your mouth fresh. 
Come back later with some questions. See ya, D-Tech. Okay. Okay, wow, just right in the crotch shot. Cool. Okay, so let's uh, go over this way, why don't we? I need something else. So I know where a few of the ingredients are. We just need to find the last bits. Yeah, I haven't even talked to you yet. Oh, there's the broom that I need. Oh, broom. Yeah. Cool. I needed that. Sloth freaking out over here. So you're the one that owns this island. I want to own an entire island. But no. Hi. <clears throat> Give me your magnifying glass. Ah, stop right there. Excuse me, birdly? Is that you? Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. Yeah, I can tell by your eyes. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. <clears throat> Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, just be careful. That cave. You know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. God, you really are birdly. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Fair enough. Ask me questions, just be careful. Tiny shells. Why don't you get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey. Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. I have a big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it if I have this big shell. Cool. Thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Thanks. This game is so weird and I'm very here for it. Hi. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. It's very good news. The conversation isn't over, there's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You're nervous. You seem very nervous, may I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing, I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives? Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. Why are you so afraid of me? It's your stance, your powerful aura. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fine, you've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. <laughs> Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. Of course there is. 
I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Questions, yes. Uh, that bottle. What's in that bottle next to you? What's in my mouse wash mouthwash? Happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. Get to it, thanks. The ghost? What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Uh, you know. Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, well, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions, yes. Okay. Nothing right now. I'll come back later. Bye-bye. So, we have a few things to turn in. Um, I can give... Was it... Who... who so, you, you wanted the magnifying glass for your pasta. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? Magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. There's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy. It's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Got some pasta. <laughs> Deliciousness of the magnifying glass. Okay, so you need to, you're the one I had to turn all the ingredients into. Um, I need to find out about dance from you. I was like, wait, where did Mystery Monkey go? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? <clears throat> dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you, uh... You like dancing and, uh, dance styles? Don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. <clears throat> Got a monkey fact. Alright, cool. That's what we need. Um, I can also go over here and get the wool from you. So, let's grab your wool, please. You may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Broom. Hey, I got that broom ready to clean. Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird, but yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Ew. <laughs> I was scared. Thought you were threatening me. I didn't bring a weapon, something to defend myself with. I just have my slimy fists of fury. Uh, okay, so we gotta go deliver the monkey fact to you, which so we then get the mouthwash and can go over there and get the toothpaste. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? 
I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. Gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Have fun with your breaker style. It's one of the best styles. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Why is it in a, like, test tube bottle? I always liked these things. That was my favorite part of chemistry classes in high school, was getting to, like, just use the test tube bottles and feel cool. Hi, Mr. Snack. Alright, so we do need to still talk to the sloth character, which I imagine is what I'm going to get the last item for you from. <clears throat> but I need to go ahead and grab the toothpaste from you. Back for questions. Take it away, D-Tech. Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot, here you go, D-Tech. Got toothpaste. Awesome. Alright, so, let's go... over here and talk to Sloth that's, like, freaking out. Uh-huh, I see you. Whoa, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess I don't look so spooky. I guess you don't look so spooky. Or then don't look so spooky. Jeez. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, maybe when I got here, nobody else was on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley. I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Uh... Dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? Oh, I love how they're actually practicing the breakdancing now. <laughs> That's hilarious. They're actually doing it. <clears throat> it's tomorrow. Anything else? Best answer wins. Okay. Got questions for me? Who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete with this whole spooky situation going on. Martin sighs. Got questions for me? About the noises. <coughs> Can they tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? Not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Dissect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen, and get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. Proof is all there. Checkmate. Got questions for me? Your nerves. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. Kinda annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. Sure, we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? It made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery's solved. It's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. Do you know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head's a strange shape. You'd have to have a little tiny hat that fits between your two eyes. <clears throat> it really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. Best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. Honey, it's really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. Really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization visualization exercise. What's a visolution exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. 
There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on a holiday. Oh, okay. <clears throat> where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. Ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. Nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Gold! That's what we needed. That was the other thing. A chunk of pure gold. <clears throat> well, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? <laughs> well, now you screwed up your crown. No problemo. Alright, I have everything I need now, then. So, we can go over here to you and see what's happening, Larry the Lobster. More questions? Ask them. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Or, ingredients. Or explosion? Which one do I ask, actually? Ingredients. <clears throat> can you list the ingredients for the explosive device again? Toothpaste, some wool, chunk pure gold, pasta, thanks. Okay, explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything? Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Let go. There's this walk. Look at the walk. Filled with power. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. Not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. <clears throat> Boom! Oh no, we fell! Oh my god, Larry's dead. Eyes open and everything, just on the ground. Must have taken, taken some shrapnel to the head or something. I don't know, man. A rock? Oh. I knew there'd have to be at least one death in this case. Ooh. Creepy. Also, there's a ladder. Convenient. It's the same color as the mushrooms. Did the mushroom grow the ladder? Thank you, mushrooms. How very kind of you. Uh-huh. Uh. Ominous? Oh, are you Finley practicing for the dance competition? Is that what the noise is? <coughs> That's probably it, right? Oh, hi. I'm in a battle stance? Uh. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Uh-huh. What? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh. You're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Uh -huh. Wait. Two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Haha, uh -huh. nah. Just me down here. Martin, know you're here? <clears throat> the voice is starting to affect my throat. I've been going for a long time. Ahem, <laughs> but I must persevere. I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? Thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've... been... dancing? For two weeks straight? Don't you eat? I guess there's a lot of mushrooms. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. 
Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps, and these mushrooms are super nutritious. Okay, yeah. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. I actually like mushrooms, but uh, I found out I have a food insensitivity to them, so I basically feel like I'm going to die whenever I have one. But they are yummy. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. Sound coming from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, uh -huh, really? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Haha. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. A dancing ghost, the scariest kind. Haha. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. That we should. Power stance again. Here we are. I got your friend back, Martin. I think your name was. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... what? How'd you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. Noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost bucks? I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope. Er, nope, just me. Just goes the show. You should never trust books. I... Don't think that's right. Always use the internet instead. No, detective. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. Okay. Rice Bruxner, hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information. And make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Grace. That's a wonderful message. Enjoy the rest of the game. <clears throat> so, anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. <laughs> Book-burning detective. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were participating for the competition this whole time? Yep. I meant it to win it. Still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good buggy. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today! Yeah! 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So shall we boogie? Let's go! <clears throat> Everybody else conveniently had all the items that I needed at any point in my adventure. Oh yeah. A game by Grace Buxner, Bruxner. Whoops. Programming Thomas Boker. Yeah, this was pretty good. I actually really, really enjoyed this. The, the humor is fantastic, and that's always the thing I've heard about uh, the Frog Detective games, is that they are very hilarious. So, I definitely wanted to try them, and like I said, the third game is coming out this year. So, we finished the first one. I'll probably try and do the second one tomorrow, assuming I have time. Uh, yeah, and we'll catch up on the series so I can start playing it on the channel. Because the humor in this is really fantastic. I'm definitely enjoying it. I think the next one has like a Wild West theme or something. I'm quite frankly not sure, but I think it's Wild West. And then I forget what the third one's about. 
Uh, but it's obviously not out yet, so. Cool. Okay, I think we practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Of course you will. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, I gotta see Mo, because Mo's going to be breakdancing, and I wanna see some some moves. Okay, no, the koala, get out of here with your dumb magnet that you're still holding. I mean a lot of them can dance dance better than me, so. Somebody do the uh the sprinkler. Go for it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Mo. Not as not as not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Have we had somebody do the robot yet? Birdly, get out of here. Okay, yeah, you're, you're doing your little dance. Okay, you're pretty good. Well, you do only have one move, though. You did say that. He mentioned he only had one move, so... Uh-huh. Alright, um... You're just doing a conga line alone. Which is a little embarrassing. I think I'm gonna give it to myself. Look at Frog Detective go. Rock Detective was pretty damn good. I had to give it to myself. Pick the winner! Um, well, I can't give it to myself. So it's definitely between Mo. Uh, Birdly was okay. You did a conga line by yourself, so no. Um, hmm. You two were actually not bad. I don't remember what you did. I'm gonna give it to you. You were pretty chill. Enjoy. I forget your name, all I know is it has an X in it. There you go, congrats on your win. Remember, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brushing your teeth allows you to win dance competitions. Goodbye everyone. What an adorable little game. I'm very happy I decided to play this. This is one of the ones I've been trying to squeeze in for a while. But uh, there was just never a good time. So I'm happy I was finally able to do it. Hopefully people enjoyed this, because I'll probably be playing the second game as well. And if nobody watches it, I guess I'll just sit here and have fun myself. A little bit later... Okay, is this gonna be teasing the second game? Probably. I'm getting back and... Ah, so yeah, like, there was my first case. I guess, maybe there was a first game? Maybe that's like... Maybe that was a game that was, like, only released on, like, Itch or something. And this is, like, the first full game. Yeah, that could be it. <clears throat> Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Devil May Cry. How can we help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cup. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD? Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about you dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Oh, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. And that leads... The Detective will return in... The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Is that the second one? Maybe the third one's the Wild West one. Maybe I was getting him confused. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be doing the Case of the Invisible Wizard next. Going to some place called Warlock Woods. Alright, well, I'm down. I am down. This was a fun little adventure. Frogdetective.net. Mm-hmm. Is that where they host book burnings? Of course, Grace was like, no, I don't support the Frog Detective in this. Frog Detective is dumb. All right, and there we go. We finished Frog Detective 1. So I hope you enjoyed this short little LP, and I'll see you next time for probably the second one. 